Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we reduced the impossible moon count from 10 to 9 by uh, uh, bending the rules a tiny bit because I think the game actually changed and I wanted to be working on consistent rules. Uh, we only got one moon that way though, not two, even though it's a 2D area, so that's a bit annoying. The other nine I think are indeed impossible, so we are pretty much stuck there. Um, so we're going to be trying to finish off the game. We're going to go to Darker Side and check out the final challenge this game has to offer. Uh, which also happens to be one of my favourite levels. It is really, really, really good. Uh, you'll see in a second because we're about to head over there. Once I, you know, put Cappy on the Odyssey. Uh, will I change outfits? No, nah, we can stay in this outfit. It's good. It's good. So, Darker Side. It unlocks at 500 moons. Uh... There's one multi-moon there, and basically it's it's the end of the game. Like, you can do it as soon as you get 500 moons, you have to do it last, but I like to do it last. And if you think of, like, Grandmaster Galaxy from uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, or Champion's Road from Super Mario 3D World, or I think there was something in 3D Land that was the same sort of thing, basically it's a long challenge level that is intended for super players uh, to show off their magnificent skills, basically. Uh, there's no checkpoints in it, which I think is a little annoying, uh, because it is quite long, um, but it's a lot of fun, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, it is on the moon, it's the darker side of the moon, so we'll be using the go to the moon cutscene to do it. Uh, and one of the reasons it's my favourite area will become apparent as soon as we arrive. <laughs> Yeah, let's just skip that. Weird, it asked me to skip the movie. So yeah, here's Coleman a crater on the darker side, and everyone is here. That's right. It's Smash Odyssey. Also, the band is here and they're playing Jump Up Superstar. Da 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 Here we go. Off the rails, don't you know it's time to raise our sails? It's freedom like you never knew. Don't need bags or a pass. Say the word, I'll be there in a flash. You could say my hat is off to you. Oh, we can zoom all the way to the moon from this great wide wacky world. Jump with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah. Time to jump up in the air, jump up, don't be scared, jump up and your cares will soar away. And if the dark clouds start to swirl, don't fear, don't shed a tear, cause I'll be your one-up girl. Know that you're my superstar No one else can take it this far Spin the switch Get ready for this So oh, let's do the Odyssey Odyssey, you see Odyssey, you see <laughs> Odyssey, you see Odyssey, you see Odyssey, you see, Odyssey, Odyssey. The wheel, take a chance. Every journey starts a new romance. The new world's calling out to you. Turn off the path, find a new addition to the cast. You know that any captain needs a crew. They get in strategy moves side to side, they're just different points of view. Jump with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah! Come on and jump up in the air, jump without a care. Frog him away. <laughs> Enjoy, don't fret, just don't forget that. Okay, so this is the actual level. Uh, it has regular gravity, as, you, as Cappy is pointing out. 
and the music goes through pretty much a medley of the whole game's music. It's it's really good. Uh, this part at the start here is optional. If you defeat that uh, UFO there, you will get a life up heart. I don't think it's worth doing though, uh, because it's kind of a little bit of effort that doesn't really help you that much. This first part, you don't really need a life up heart anyway. Uh, there are other places to get a life up part, and we will be getting a later one. So, yeah, first part is some, uh, stuff on poles. There's a couple of different ways to do this. I like to use some wall jumps. Oops. Uh, I'm accidentally ground pounding, which isn't very helpful. Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, just to demonstrate, every time you die, you will spawn here. Uh, this is the respawn point for the entire level. Uh, and it's very long, so you'll be seeing this spot quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, this first part, it's not very hard. Uh, the fact that we slide down poles automatically is making it a little bit harder than normal. Uh, because we're holding crouch, basically. And that's one of the things holding crouch does to you. Uh, you don't have to use wall kicks, you can just climb up these poles instead, uh, which can be a bit easier, depending on how you're doing things. But, uh, I think this is probably the best way, whoop, whoop, given what we're doing. Oh no, I keep accidentally ground pounding, I don't know if I have the controller aligned up wrong or something. But, uh, I won't be able to do it if I accidentally ground pound, so... Make sure this is nice and tight, yeah. Okay, that feels nice and firm. I think we're good now. <sighs> so yeah, this part, uh, all these Goombas are here just to help you uh, defeat the UFO. You can do it without them, I'm pretty sure, but it's like requires a bit more tricky platforming to get up on top of it. Also, I think it takes like three hits, which is just a bit excessive. Uh, then we have this part with the poles. You can see the poles are on like, uh, slidey slot thingies in the wall. You're meant to just time yourself carefully to make sure they don't go away when you need them. It's not too tricky. You can actually skip some of them by doing things like cat bounces. Uh, this part I usually use long jumps, so we should be okay. Basically you just have to go along these big waves going through the lava to make your way over to here. Uh, then you have to capture a, a lava bubble, that's mandatory. Uh, you can't do the next part without a lava bubble, so I've got to grab one. Uh, basically what you want to do here is, you can see there's little holes in the, in the, um, in the rocky platform. There's lava in all the holes, so you have to jump between holes carefully in order to make your way over there where the cannon is. I usually take a hit there, but that's okay. Not a problem. Uh, because once you've gone in the cannon, which will change the music, by the way. For some reason, it plays Tostarina Ruin Ruins over here, even though this area has nothing to do with Tostarina Ruins. Uh, it's got uproots, and it's got... Uh, some fuzzies and stuff. It doesn't really have anything that was in Tostarina Ruins, so I don't know what the idea there is. Uh, you can use, you can skip the uproot like in most of the game. I might try to do it just to see how we go. Uh, the thing that makes it a bit tricky to handle all the uproots and stuff that are around is these little uh, burbos that pop up everywhere that you have to watch out for. I have done this before, but not while crouching, so... Uh, we'll can see if we can pull it off. Oh no! That's not good. <laughs> Alright, so that's our first death. I might just use the uproot to get through here a bit easier. It, it makes, it does make things much easier. Uh, so yeah, you respawn right at the very beginning, as you can see. Uh, it's not too much of a problem. This first part's not hard. I 
Then you get to hear the Fossil Falls music again, which is great because this music is fantastic. Honestly, like, this being the main track of the game, I'm a huge fan of it. I really like that it's basically the game's theme, except for Jump Up Superstar, which is also the game's theme. So as you can see, you can mostly skip these <laughs> without too much trouble, if you're impatient. Which in this case I was. <laughs> That was scary. <laughs> but yeah, this part's not hard. I'm pretty much just pressing B as I get to the top of each platform to jump across. There we go. And you just capture the bubble. The reason you need the bubbles is because of the cannons. Uh, you can't, like, use a cannon unless you are a lava bubble. And there aren't any closer, so you do have to jump through these holes. It's not too hard to avoid getting hit by these spiky things if you're just playing as Mario, obviously, because you can just jump over them, but as a bubble, it's a little tricky. Uh, there we go. Then he's getting the cannon, which launches you to the second area. There is a skip of sorts to get you to the top of this area faster. I'm not really sure how to pull it off, though. And I think you have to use the uproot anyway. But yeah, the burbos are here to sort of give you a bit of a... bit of an obstacle to worry about as you're making your way up, since otherwise there'd be no threat, basically. This area is not very hard, otherwise. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get up there while I'm crouching and stealing these things. Uh, I might just use the uproot. Looks like it. Looks like I can't quite do the right jump without the uproot or uncrouching. Uh, the uproot just died, so let's hope for another one. <laughs> so yeah, as the uproot, obviously we can't crouch. Uh, we also can't attack, which is one of the, the reason that they have all these burbos here to give you a bit of a threat that you have to worry about. Just push this up. There we go. Uh, then we have another spot over here that's very similar, except that the um, pushy blocks here are stacked. I don't know why all this Bowsette stuff is here. Did she, like, build this obstacle course for Mario, or...? It's not very clear. Uh, I'm just gonna uncapture, and, uh... Hopefully not get hit. Uh, there we go. Right. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, this part's much easier to get up now because of the uh, the block being moved there. So that's not too much of a problem. I'm having trouble killing these burbos, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm planning not to use any amiibo, but maybe I'll use a peach amiibo at some point. I'll see what happens. I'm taking a lot of pointless damage, so... Uh, so basically, the one of the skips you can do here is, you can see the ledge over there, rather than climbing up using the uproot and pushing all these platforms around, you can just go... like this, to get around. And it's pretty easy, so you may as well. Uh, it's a little bit faster than doing it the other way. And then you have to just go in this hole here, and you can walk it up. There's, a fa there's like a faster skip than that, but I don't know how to do it, so... This is ice water, so you want to get out of it nice and quick. There we go. Uh, you can just roll underneath all these fuzzies, uh, but it's a little hard to time, and I did it wrong. You can also swim above them like this, which is probably the recommended way of doing it. Oops. I ground pounded instead of doing another swim. Oh, uh, well. So, back to the beginning again. <laughs> yeah, um, darker side, you'll be seeing this part of it a lot, because of the way it doesn't have any checkpoints. Man, as far as I know, it has no checkpoints. I've died in a lot of different places and always respawned here, and so I assume there's no checkpoints. Uh, it kind of makes sense that there aren't any, like, the perfect run didn't have any in, um, Galaxy 2. But there was also the ultimate test, which did have checkpoints in each section, so, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing like that in this game either, like, like a Daredevil Comet kind of thing. Uh, just because... Um, they don't really rehash areas that much in this game, except, you know, the dark side stuff that had a couple of different challenges. Ah! I got into the pole by accident and it, it, I paid the price. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that didn't go well at all. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I was trying to do a cap bounce instead of actually grabbing the pole, but I grabbed the pole and that threw me off. Uh, 
Oh, I'm a Goomba now. <laughs> These stairs are kind of annoying to climb up with the skills at your disposal, because you bonk a lot, but eh, not a big deal. Okay, then there's this part, we just wanna... For some reason you don't slide down when you're moving around the side, which is helpful in this situation. So yeah, you don't need to use the moving moving poles at all to get through there, and it's probably faster if you don't. Just because Mario is such a skilled platform aficionado. Ah! I grand it accidentally, but I dived and it was okay. <laughs> uh, there's actually health in this block here, so if you did lose health in the earlier part, you can get some back, which is nice. It's a regular heart, but still nice to have. There's also health in that block up there, so if you get to here and you need to heal, that's another option. There are a lot of hearts littered through this section. Like, they didn't want it to be like a Daredevil run where you only have one hit and you're doomed. So they give you a lot of opportunities to heal up. Also, if you take a couple of hits, that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I usually take a hit just there. Uh, that's pretty much the way I've learned to time that section. Which isn't great, but... You know, it's, it, it works out. I can go heal behind this platform and it doesn't really cause any problems, so... So yeah, this area again. I'm gonna just use the up route just to speed things up if I can avoid messing it up this time. There we go. Just so I can see what comes up after this. Some of the more interesting stuff. So yeah, these few ledges pretty easy. You just want to stretch like this. There we go. And then like this. There we go. All uh, right, here you've got a platform you can push up. There's actually some hearts on top of that one too. That block up there. Uh, here you just want to sort of squeeze your way around these guys and push this down by doing this. There we go. Then you can ditch the uproot and hit it anymore. You can use the uproot to go up here. But you can also just wall jump like that. As you can see, you can roll through there if you time it well enough. I just didn't the first time. There we go. Uh, the next part is Yoshi based, which is kind of cool. Uh, you have to capture Yoshi, who is in the middle of all these fuzzies here. Uh, that wouldn't normally be a threat, but because of our rolling problem, it's a bit of a threat. <laughs> uh, basically, the trick is Yoshi can stick to walls, and the walls here are conveyor belts. So all you gotta do is just ride your way up. Uh, so long as you basically grab all of these coins, this part's easy. Uh, you will be perfectly timed to just sort of squeeze past these guys if you grabbed all the coins, which is interesting. Uh, and there you go. Let's go like that. Then you can ditch Yoshi. I will. Uh, and this part, it's got the music from uh, Steam Gardens. And it's got a flower pass from Steam Gardens, so it sort of actually fits this time. <laughs> uh, you just keep moving along this flower path. It's not too hard. I like to do a triple jump on these three blocks here, but uh, because of the restrictions we're working under, we can't really triple jump that easily, so I'm just gonna do a couple backflips. There we go. Uh, over here, there's a Sphinx. Uh, you definitely want to talk to this Sphinx, uh, because the first time you do, you get one question that's quite easy. Uh... Like that. And it gives you a life up heart, which will always be here every time you reach this area again. You don't have to do the question again. Uh, you can talk to the Sphinx some more to get some more questions. Uh, gardening skill. Some of these are kind of hard. Uh, talking to a Sphinx. I always have trouble with that one. I can never remember what the right answer is. I think it might be randomized. 
Or maybe it's not. Anyway, you get the life up part, then you go stand on this piece, which to make you over to the next part. So this next part is a little bit of a... The musical won't change just yet, it still plays Steam Gardens until we do the, this part. Uh, so what you're supposed to do here is stand uh, over there past the two coin, like t two coin rings, uh, basically here. Then throw Cappy onto that, and then these blocks will pop out and give you like a wall jump challenge. Uh, I have never done it that way. <laughs> I've beaten the game completely twice, but the first time I did it, I thought what you were supposed to do, which is what I'm going to do now, <laughs> um, is throw Cappy over here, climb on top, and then do a... Oops, that didn't quite work. Uh, basically, you just throw Cappy near the, near the Scarecrow, climb up on top of the block, and then do a homing, homing throw attack thing, and not roll off, hopefully. And when you do that, uh, Cappy will actually, uh, you will actually be taken up to the top and be able to just skip the whole thing. And this is an intentional feature because there's actually some blocks up there that you can collect if you want. So I almost did that correctly. Uh, just a little hard because shaking also makes me roll. Ugh! <laughs> yeah, you can see, like, there's, there's there were wall bits and stuff popping out. Uh, yeah, that's the actual challenge you're supposed to be doing here. Ugh! <sighs> so yeah, you, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm just having a little trouble with it. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll try to do the actual challenge? I don't know, it looks very hard. Especially without Cappy. And again, I, I've never actually done this despite having finished the whole game. Because I found this skip accident on my first playthrough and just kept doing it. Uh, I don't know if I can do it while crouching because of the way you roll when you shake. Uh, hang on, let's just see what happens. Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect is the thing. Uh, uh! Oh dear. Oh dear. No! <laughs> hmm. Okay, um... Hmm. So yeah, this is back to the beginning, even though we got quite a, a ways into the level. Uh, it is actually possible to skip the whole level. You saw at the beginning where there were the two pipes and the frogs. Uh, well, I mean, it was possible. In 1.0, you could actually do a glitch to make frogs swim in midair. And you can use one of those frogs to swim all the way to the other pipe, which is where this whole level comes out at the end. Uh, you can't do that in any later version, they patched it. That's not good. I'm Gokimba. Yeah, the hitbox for that pole is very, very big, so you sort of snap to it from quite a distance, which is interesting and helpful for this particular run. You can do this with other kinds of jumps, but I pretty much always use long jumps, uh, even when I'm not forced to use them. <laughs> Just seems the easiest way. That's not good. Okay, part two.
should be able to backflip like out of that gap there, right? What I've, what I've thought. Mm, I'm hitting my head too soon. Maybe it's not close enough to the edge. Ow. Ah. Dang it. <sighs> this video might be a bit long. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, here at the bit with the Goombas again. Try and triple jump there, but I didn't. Oh, come on. Wait, what? What just happened? Alright, um... Why is it... Why is it still there? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay I, I'll take it. Um, let's just go from here. Uh, I took two hits, which is annoying, but... You know, I can, I can heal up, so that's okay. Okay, let's just, just grab the uproot and just keep things simple. Here we go. Fuzzies. If I line myself up properly, it's easy. Uh, are you close to the wall? What's going on? There we There we go, that's more like it. Okay, so this part, easy. Easy peasy. I don't know if there's anything right at the top here, it looks like there might be something. Let's have a quick look. Uh, if we can, you know, line up the camera properly in order to see what's up there. Mm, doesn't look like it. Might be like a coin or something. Whoa! What is happening? Yoshi, no! Oh. Okay, I glitched something out there, I think. <laughs> Oops. Okay, here we go again. Uh, I do think this level should have a few checkpoints. I don't know where I put them though. And like, not real checkpoint flags, just like respawn points, like in um, the Moon Cave. 
because the moon cape has a respawn point or two and it, it's a lot better off for it and it's also shorter than this actually I think it has two actually yeah yeah there's one just for, like when the bonsai bill shows up and there's one just before the part with the um with the charlies Ground pounding. I don't know why he's doing that. I'm not pressing the button or anything. I mean, I'm holding it down, sure, but, like, it's not getting... I just, like, poked at it a bit and it didn't, like, get repressed or anything, so, I don't know. Ba -ba it's a bubble made of lava, that's why it's called a lava bubble, I think. And it can live in lava, but not on the ground, so be careful if you want to go to the part with the cannon pot thing. You need to be a bubble made of lava. <laughs> there we go. And watch out for those little spikes, cause I'm not doing this too well. Oh my god, the tomato I think is just so you can reach those extra coins there if you want, but I don't really care, so it doesn't really matter. You can see we're actually making coin profit anyway, even though we keep dying. There's like a lot of coins to be had in this area. I'm not sure if the tomato actually helps us here, like... It's not low down like these other holes, so it won't protect us from the spikes, the way the other holes do. Okay, there we go. Okay, we can heal up and get an uproot to the next part. I know why Mario's hat doesn't get burned up when you're doing this. Like, I mean, Cappy is... I guess she's magic, so she can be protected from, from the super heat of the bubble or something? I don't know. But, yeah, you're, throw, you're, you're, throwing, you're throwing her at a cloth hat at, you know, a, a, a bubble of lava. And she's, she's fine. I don't, I don't get it. It makes a bit more sense when she's like a metal hat, but... Right now she's just a cloth hat. She had some sunglasses, but we can't see them now. But she is reg a regular kind of hat that would not be, you know, fireproof or anything, so... I have my questions. <laughs> uh, you can go around from up here as well, which is sometimes helpful to get past the burbos and all that. You can just lure them down like that as well, get them out of the way. Here you just want to basically climb over them. You can also go around, just want to be tricky. So you gotta be quick in the water there because it is cold water and will damage you if you're not careful. Uh, now I'm not I'm not gonna try to experiment with Yoshi this time just because that was a disaster before. <laughs> just gonna do it normally. Uh, you can see there's a regular heart up there if you go up those blocks. I don't know why you would, because just at the end of this, uh, this flower pass section, there's the free life up heart. I guess if you didn't know the answer to the question, you might want the regular heart, but I don't know why you wouldn't know the answer. It's pretty easy. The other questions are a bit harder, obviously, but the first one is easy, so I don't know. <sighs> So yeah, we grab the life up heart. We're gonna talk to the Sphinx again. Hopefully I can get the right answer this time. 
Uh, I think that question might be randomized just to encourage you to play through this area a couple of times. Uh, it makes you do all of them again, which is a bit annoying, but the early ones are easy, so no problem. Oops. I meant talking to a sphinx. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Pick the wrong <laughs> I mean, the answer is obvious, but I just I didn't pick the right thing. I was I was a fool. <laughs> okay. Um. As far as I know, maybe we can do it. Let's see. Let's give it another shot, just in case. No, right, I had to hold, hold, to hold the button. Oop, no, 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 no. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to get into the air because I'm a fool. <laughs> oh, dear. Um. Hmm, okay. Maybe, maybe. Uh, you gotta be on the platform or it'll just reset immediately. <sighs> I think I can do it, it's just it's just hard. <sighs> okay, I'll try the regular path. Um since I'm taking a lot of hits here. <sighs> oh come on. Oh come on! <laughs> Seriously? Uh Seriously? It's gonna be a long video, folks. I I'm planning on doing a skip just after that section to basically get to the end really fast, but um, it's still gonna be a long video. Jumping on waves, but they're made out of metal and have bouncers face on their front. And now we're made of lava and need to jump from hole to hole without getting poked by the spikes from these spinning thingies and we need to jump into this part of pink stuff and then fire ourselves to the park with different music from Tostarina instead there we go Try to get this on quickly by mess it up and then fall and try to do it again. It's not affected by crouching cause I'm mammon up root, so I don't wanna spend too much time on this part. Push it down and then drop out of your pal who's a melon. Or an onion, or some kind of a vegetable. It's time to go for a swim. And just do a backflip and roll. To get past the fuzzy horde. And become a horse who lives in a spotty egg. That egg is very green And you can lick a wall If you're a horse Stick to these conveyor belts And then get coins He 
You can use Yoshi here, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't think there's any reason to use Yoshi for this part. Like, even if you like like using Yoshi. Jump on all of these blocks and flower parts and stuff. I'd like to use a triple jump, but that's kind of hard to use over here. So we're just gonna do some backflips and then talk to the Sphinx and then get this heart bop on this wall here. And then we talk to the Sphinx and hopefully not make a mistake. You are a sphinx and you have a face. This is cute. Which one would it be? Oh, that's so cute. Cute. And we get a reward, check it out! Brave Traveler and Hatu travels with him. Yeah, you, you just basically spam with all these coins for getting it right. You only get this once though, which is a bit annoying. So you have to make sure you grab it when it shows up. Honestly, I think it should keep coming up, just to make this a way to grind coins, but it's not how it works. Okay, so this part again. Let's see how we go. You want to get rid of the two coin rings first, because Cappy will home in on those with higher priority than the um, Scarecrow. So you get rid of them like that. So that's how you do it. You just get on this block like this, ride your way up. You can see that the like puzzle and stuff is happening down there, but it doesn't matter. You can just get this block, which has another heart in it. Uh, and then you get to the glide on section, which has Lost Island music. Or Forgotten Island music. At least it should. Maybe it won't kick in until we start flying. Uh, but yeah, we just have to... Basically what you're supposed to do is glide to that first platform with the lava you can see in the distance, but what you can do is glide to the second platform with the lava in the distance. That's what we're gonna, we're gonna try to do. We'll see how we go. Because you see, Glidon uh, can get a lot of height from the motion controls in this game, uh, and basically maintain that height forever if you just keep shaking the controller, which is what I'm doing right now. Which gives us the ability to, if you do it perfectly, glide all the way past that section, over this section. You can see you're meant to use the forks down there to get through the Volbonins. Oops. Oh no! Oh, I messed it up right at the end. Yeah, you have to make it all the way there with that. Yeah, accidentally swooped down with glide on by pushing forward. Ah. Uh. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> so yeah, you want to get glide on onto that. So you, you have to, I think you get uncaptured automatically uh, when you get too close, but you have enough, uh, like, enough height to actually dive onto the platform with that problem. So, <sighs> uh, I'm choosing to do that because uh, there's actually a 2D section in the part you're skipping by doing that. And I'm concerned that we probably wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, so to avoid that problem, I figured it would probably be better to use Glide on Skip to get through here. Don't, don't ground pounce, Mario. No. Very bad plumber. Oh my god. This is the worst run yet. Actually, there's somewhere I died in the first part with the poles, so this is not the worst, worst run yet. It's pretty bad, though. Whew. 
Okay, okay. Kind of like how Odyssey, unlike every other Mario game, like really commonly has pipe has blocks sitting on the ground because you can throw Cappy at them. Like every other Mario game, that the blocks on the ground thing is rare because you need like a shell to get them. And a lot of Mario games just don't have blocks like that, just because they're annoying to access. Um, of course, in the new Super Mario Bros. one, you can also ground pound those blocks, and you can do that here too. But like the reason they're in this game so much is because you can use Cappy to get them. Uh. Oh, damn it. That's really annoying. Alright. Oh, seriously? 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 Oh, this video is probably going to be like an hour. Maybe longer. I've never actually done glide on skip using a pro controller it, because you have to shake the whole pro controller instead of just you know a Joy-Con. It's trickier because um, you're losing more control from all the shaking. Uh, another me reason that motion controls are not good, basically. Uh, uh, well, I didn't go well. <sighs> Yeah, I was expecting that. Mm. Okie doke. Hmm. Might want to just like reset at this point after that. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, uh, no, I can probably get a heart once I've gone through the waves part, so... It should be okay. I'm playing this really safe, just so I don't lose another heart and have to... Oh no! Oh, accidental ground pounding for the win. Or, you know, the sad. Thankfully you do roll up these because of the momentum of the ground pound, so you don't have too much trouble with the fact that they're big slopey things. Uh, there we go. gets us past the Fossil Falls area, or the area with the Fossil Falls music anyway. Now we're in Tostarina Ruins, or the Uproot area, as I like to call it sometimes, because you use an Uproot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just, just ditch it there, there we go. Come with me, friend. Let's, let's climb. Oh, really? Uh, Alright. It's okay, there's not much that can hit me between here and, and the one for lap up art, so it's not a big deal. That he sticks to for some reason. I guess so she is a lizard in this game instead of a horse. <laughs> Ba -da -da -da. 
I am watching out for the edges of this flower path in the sky With these blocks on top of it that you can go over like I just did So you can see now if you talk to the Sphinx, uh, they just say that and that instead of, you know, trying to ask you more questions Because you already did everything <sighs> so just get some health, here we go. Just hit this switch over here. I don't know if you can actually leave Darker Side in order to make the Sphinx give you more stuff. Like the whole kingdom maybe? I haven't tried. Okay, so this part again is annoying. Um, I think the way I pulled it off was to flip from here, right? Yeah. Yep, there we go. First try. So yeah, um... This is clearly an intended skip, because there is actually this block up here to reward you for figuring it out. Uh, you don't get Cappy back until you go down there, though, so you, have to be, you do have to be a bit careful. There we go. And you get Glide on. Okay, okay. You want to watch out for these flies. Uh, they're not too much of a problem. You don't lose height from touching them or anything, so it's not like a huge hassle if you do happen to poke into one or two. Uh, but, you know, taking damage sucks, so we try to avoid it. Alright, so, I'm trying to do the skip again. Basically, yeah, you want to glide all the way to that distant platform. You can see there's like a painting over there, we want to get into that painting. Uh, you glide just over the Vo uh, Mount Volbono section, like this. Yeah, it automatically uncaptured me when I did that. Okay. So, now we're basically home free. This last part is not hard. Uh, as you can see, it's got Bowsette with Mario having captured her on the painting, so you might guess it's another section where you're capturing Bowsette. Just hop into the magic painting. And... now you're Bowsette. Uh, this is not too hard. Uh, you can take damage a bit more easily than in the one at the end of the game normally, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, but it's not too hard. And I believe it, it heals you to full health, like the other Bowser area does, so... Uh, but yeah, I've never actually died here. I've taken a couple of hits, like just now. But you can actually smash these, all of this stuff, so... Yeah. Basically here, you just want to keep turning around and breaking those as they come close. There's no time limit or anything, so it's not like a big deal that you have to keep stopping. But yeah, you can see it's quite easy. Wait, can I triple jump as, as Bowsette? Hang on. I can! I didn't know that was in the game! <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah, you just jump down this hole here. Get all those coins if you want them. And that's basically the end of Darker Side, uh, once you've done that. Uh, the things I skipped, uh, there's a section where you're on a platform and like lots and lots of burbos spawn as it's moving along. That's really hard, uh, I usually take a couple hits there. Then there's a section with pockios, which I've never managed to do successfully. Basically you have to poke little tiny swinging platforms perfectly or you will fall to your death and restart the whole, whole level again. After that there's a 2D section, uh, which I haven't managed to do but I believe it's fairly short and fairly easy. But I've never gotten there because I can't do the Pocky part. And then it just gets back to where we were. Uh, you come out just outside that painting. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, you come up here. You can see if you look down there, the Bowsette section was actually on the other side of that same cliff. I think you might be able to just drop down there and do it again if you want, but we won't. Uh, so now it's playing this uh, peaceful Honeyloon Ridge music for this part, which I think is a nice choice. You can see there's all sparkles everywhere. Uh, th there's no way to get hurt here, there's just birds flying here. Uh, you can see as you move forward these letters light up. Spelling out... Thank... <laughs> and if you weren't sure what it said, you can actually just throw Cappy over there to get a hint. Thank you. Just like in um, Mario, Mario um, Super Mario World, where it goes, you are a super player at the end of the last Special World stage. Really cute. So head down that pipe, and that gets you to here. 
Uh, so this is where we were trying to get. You can see we started over there and went into the pipe at the top of that big cliff, and that comes out over here at this other pipe. Uh, so, you're supposed to use a frog to climb up New York City Hall. Like, we probably will, but I just want to have a bit of a look around first, because I haven't been here very many times. Because this level is very long. Also, I'm going to be quiet so Cappy can do a little monologue. I think she doesn't keep going until I start climbing. Let's get these coins first, though. There we go. Uh, I didn't actually know those were there. I saw a um, like a, a run of this game done in a certain way, and they happened to go back there, so I found out. There's also a Rosalina over here. I didn't know about that either, but I just saw it there, so there we go. You can get Rosalina if you want. So basically, yeah, this is New Donk City Hall. It's like a duplicate of the building for some reason, and we want to just climb to the top. Just like we did half a game ago, because there was a moon on top of the, of the City Hall. Just grab a frog. Uh, you know, just jump up there nice and easy. And Cappy will have a bit more to say as we're climbing, so I'll just be quiet and let you enjoy the moment. Long journey's end. Lick this video if you cry every Tim. Oh my gosh, I love that ending. It's so beautiful. Uh, for doing that, you can see... You can see that now we can't see Mario. Uh, just like in Dark Side, the, the multi-moon here gives us an extra item, the invisibility hat. Uh, as you can see, we can't see Mario now. Oddly enough, it's a hat, but if you throw Cappy, you can see she becomes visible, even though she's an invisibility hat right now. And Mario stays invisible. It's, it's very strange. Uh, also, all the normal dialogue in the game becomes just question marks. Uh, because no one can see you, they can just see your little shadow. Uh, you can go talk to people who actually have like a talk to option, like Paul Pauline up here. And it's just normal, but when people just have dialogue out in the overworld like all these other people, that's just question marks. <sighs> so, I'm gonna cash in this moon and that's the end of the series, I think. Um, we can't quite reach every moon. Uh, there's, as I said, there's nine impossible moons, like I mentioned at the start of the video. So I cash in these three. Boop, boop, boop. 871, that's our total. So, we're, yeah, we're nine moons short of perfect. <sighs> Which is sad, but I think that's pretty good considering that we weren't allowed to stand up for the entire game. <laughs> Flipping the switch, get ready for this song, let's do the Odyssey. You see, Odyssey, you see, Odyssey, see, Odyssey, you see, Odyssey, you see, Odyssey, you see, Odyssey. The wheel. Oh no, I'm sorry, Plessy. Or Dory. 
Well, this is a different character. <laughs> Off the path, find a new addition to the cast. You know that any captain needs a crew. Strategy moves side to side, they're just different points of view. Jump with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah. Come on and jump up in the air. Jump without a care. Jump up, cause you know that I'll be there. And if you fucking sort of enjoy, don't fret, just don't forget that you're still a one up boy. Hating up your cap, let your toes begin to tap. Rhythm is a power shrew. Don't blot it, you're the superstar. No one else can take it this far. Put a comb through that stash. Now you've got panache. Let's do the Odyssey. See, you see. Odyssey, 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 you see. You see, Odyssey, Odyssey. <sighs> anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, because, yeah, that's it for this video and for this series, unless something amazing happens and I get to do, like, an epilogue with the impossible moons. It might happen. Uh, you never know. But, as far as I'm aware, that's all we can do. 871. And what a beautiful finale Long Journey's End is. I love this game, and I love this moon. <sighs> Wonderful. Jump up, don't be scared. Jump up and your cares will soar away. Our clouds start to swirl. Don't fear, don't shed a tear, cause I'll be your one up girl. Oh, uh, we do have all the souvenirs. I just thought I'd pop in here and show everyone. Just the full Odyssey with everything in it. Lovely. Hi, Poppy. The Poppy acts normally, even though we're invisible. I don't know. I guess dogs just use their sense of smell more. Uh, also, it's kind of funny if you look at the description here. Easy to lose in the closet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, so, yeah. That's it for Super Mario Odyssey Crouched. That's all we can do. 871 moons. As far as I can tell. Uh, it may be possible to get some of the other nine moons with a technique I haven't managed to think of. If you can think of a way, please let me know. But, as far as I can tell, they are impossible. So, hang on, I'm stuck back there. There we go. So, yeah, please let me know. And we might do some extra episodes. But for the moment, this is the final episode. And I really hope you enjoyed it. The end. <laughs> <sighs> We're just keeping someone else's dog in the Odyssey, like, all the time. That seems a bit rude. Because, you know, this this dog belongs to that toad that we meet at the end of the game. At the end of the story. Um, the beginning of the post-game. You know, you know who I mean. Like, it's the same dog, so I assume that that's the one that's been appearing throughout the game. Same hat and everything. But they also live here in the Odyssey. Maybe that's how they get to all the different kingdoms. Maybe we just, we're just carrying them around just like a stowaway. Except that we know they're there. So just a passenger, I guess. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, you don't show up in the mirror. Because uh, Mario is now a vampire. Or, you know, just invisible. One of the two. And that's it. The end. <laughs> really drawing out the ending here. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed, let me know if there's something to do with the other nine moons, and let me know if you think I'm cute, because I always love to hear that. And I'll probably say something like, goshy washies. Uh, and maybe even hecky weckies if you're really lucky. We'll see. <laughs> Bye all!